Now we go to the opposite side of the spectrum in terms of um, hearing from one of the biggest democracies in the world, Indonesia. We'd like to invite um, his, Her Excellency, um, Retno LP Mal Sudi, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Indonesia, onto the podium. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let me start by conveying a happy and blessed Ramadan to Muslims all over the world. It is very unfortunate that those living in Gaza remain to suffer severely even during this holy month of Ramadan. A ceasefire, unhindered humanitarian assistance are very important and need your support. Minister Joe, colleagues, all of us here do believe in democracy. All of us here also realize that democracy is facing many challenges. But do not give up. Instead, let us make it better. Let us make democracy delivers for the people. As the interest of the people is always at the very center of democracy. And we all have the responsibility to prevent a failed democracy. Colleagues, both democracy and digital technology is transformative, both change the way we make important decisions, especially effort to enhance inclusivity. Rather than being a threat toward democracy, AI should enhance democracy in its modern application. Three important steps to ensure this goal. First, promoting a democratic global digital governance. Transformative technologies such as AI must be navigated by and and for the interests of the many. The path toward global digital governance must be free, open, secure, unfragmented, and inclusive. And Indonesia have introduced regulation on AI ethics, both at national level as well as within ASEAN level. Second, closing the global digital divide. Technologies such as AI must be treated as global public goods. However, there is no one size fits all. While upholding human rights, countries must also be able to get easy, fair, and equitable digital access. And the voice of the developing countries, developing world, must become an essential part in the ensemble of global digital development. And Indonesia actively takes part in global digital compact negotiation in, uh, and other avenues in the UN and international forum. And third, this is very important to ensure collective risk management or risk mitigation. AI can be a double-edged sword. I think the previous speaker also mentioned about it. While AI is a tool for democracy, could be used as a tool of democracy, it can also be a tool for manipulation and disinformation. So therefore, we must join hands to nurture digital literacy, as well as innovation against fake manipulated news and misuses of AI, including in countering cyber attacks. Colleagues, the nexus between democracy and technology should only be a force for good. I would like to repeat it. Should only be a force for good. And it is our job to ensure this goal. I thank you very much.